Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix the problem getting stuck in Windows 11. So if you have the same problem right now just follow the steps that I'm gonna show you. So basically guys this is what the loading screen in Windows 11 looks like. So if you got this problem just the first thing you need to do guys is uh, press down the shift button in your keyboard and then at the same time press hold the uh, power off button and then your PC is gonna turn off and do the same thing to turn on your PC once your PC is turned on this menu it is going to pop up so uh, once you're here in this menu just go ahead and then click on the troubleshoot button and then as you can see guys this is the troubleshoot menu just after that go ahead and click on advanced options once you're in advanced options it's gonna look like this you're gonna see a lot of options here such as startup repair startup settings command prompt uninstall updates system restore system image recovery just go ahead and choose startup settings and click on it once you click on startup settings it's gonna basically look like this uh, basically startup settings what it does is uh, enable low resolution video mode enable debugging mode enable boot login enable safe mode disable driver signature enforcement disable early launch anti-malware protection disable automatic restart on system failure just go ahead on and click on the restart button once you click on the restart button your pc is gonna restart and then uh, a menu like this will pop out so as you can see guys they say here press a number to choose the form the option below so those are the options and to choose the option that you want you need to use the f buttons so you use from the f1 to f9 so what button you need to choose is the fifth options and to trigger it you need to press f5 once you press f5 your pc is gonna restart into safe mode so uh, and then you're gonna be locked in in the safe mode once you're in the safe mode just go ahead and then click on the start menu and then go to this button here and then just click on restart and once your pc is restarted your problem is gonna be fixed so this is it guys for today's video thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video